Hey everyone, welcome to Beach Investing. I'm your host, Andre Angelkowski. We're here with Brendan Riley. How are you, Brendan? Hi, Andre. How are you doing? Good, thanks, sir. Good. So we're in Leslieville, and we're standing in front of uh, Brendan's uh, final masterpiece here. He finished the renovations, maybe almost finished. Um, 99% there. 99% there. So what we'll do is we'll show you the final video here of what it looks like finished. Brendan's rented it out. He's got all the numbers ready, and we'll tell, tell you all about them inside, so follow us in, in there. Two mailboxes, I'm guessing it's two units? Yep, it's a legalized duplex. Legalized? It was a single family home, semi-detached, but um, we went through the legalization process with the city, and uh, yeah, it's a legalized duplex. Okay. So if you want to go upstairs to the second unit, you go upstairs that way, and we'll go into this one first. So they're they're basically two two level units, right? Yes. So there's two two floors or two two stories. Yeah. This is the lower or the main unit. What you walked in there is the common area or the shared vestibule. And you're walking through to the, this is the living space of the main unit. And dining space is there, and kitchen area there, and then there's the back deck. All of the windows, so com it's a complete catch up. Andre, we uh, <laughs> like layers on an onion, and we peeled away one wall, and we recognized, okay, we need to do some plumbing, do some electrical. It's just, it was a typical kind of renovation job where it just, things unfolded and we had to correct and take one more step back to in order to take three steps forward. So yeah, it was a lot of hard work, um, especially through the legalization process, fireproofing, sound barrier, resilient channels, and um, yeah, so this is our finished product. So we got some nice hardened floors throughout. We wanted to keep it nice and bright and light. Um, we wanted to try and keep it as kind of in tune with the beaches area, so a nice light exposed open concept we've got some exposed brick which which we'll run into in a little while it, it, it seems like uh you weren't planning on gut renovating this place <coughs> based on the previous videos <laughs> yes um but it looks like you did and uh and, and based on that gut job it typically they go pretty high in cost what was your final cost um yeah cost was cost and time was well over our Predicted time or number, and it's, it was just over two, two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand, yes. Um, but I did this with a joint venture partner, so we're very happy with this outcome, and um, we think that it shows very, very well. And it's a nice, very strong, very solid product that we putting out on the market. Okay. So we're at the heart of Las Vegas. Yes. Um, you have your living room, dining room, yes. and kitchen here. Yes. And how many bedrooms downstairs? Two. Two bedrooms. Two bedrooms, one bathroom, four piece bathroom, and a um, little storage space and a furniture. Okay, come come and see it. So kitchen, what what what's uh, what are the highlights here of your kitchen? So we have uh, this quartz. Yeah. The highlights of this kitchen, well, I just have a look around and I like to say everything. Uh, we've got beautiful black quartz here with the light kind of fleck inside and. The cabinets, believe it or not, are IKEA. Yeah. Um, we got a, a great, great deal there. We got beautiful subway tile, a grey subway tile, and all the um, appliances are all brand new, all high energy efficient as well. So great for keeping those bills down, nice and economical. Are they actually brand new or are they scratch and mint? They are brand new. Yeah. And what can you share where you got them from? Um. Canadian appliances. Canadian appliances, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. I'd like to also mention that uh, we have a beautiful, stunning, luscious gas stove over here too, which wow. is a great feature. Wow. Very nice. And you have a washer and dryer here? Indeed, yeah, stackable washer and dryer. Again, everything brand new, HE. Not the best space to put in, but um, we made the use of our, the best use of our space, and this was the outcome. Okay, but so far, you know, the tenants that have seen it, they didn't mind, right? No, we haven't had any issues or any concerns. Um, ideally, you want a kitchen space nice and open, or ideally, if these have to be in the, in the, in the kitchen space, at least boxed off in a cupboard. But, right. you know, um, 
This is how it is. Make sure the blinds. I, I like the... Uh, the blinds are an awesome feature. Yeah. We love them. <laughs> so, um, that obviously just go all the way down, like so. Yeah. But if you wanted to let in some light, but still have a certain degree of privacy, this just detaches and it goes down like so. That's, that's cool. Right? So you can adjust them accordingly to your needs or... And you have these in all the windows? All of the windows, yes. All the windows are brand new. Yeah. We've got beautiful French doors. Also, an excellent feature. Opens all the way out. We've got the screen yes. here. Yeah, yeah. just... Um, and you have uh, their, their backyard out there that the, these tenants have access to? Yep, come on out and I'll show you the backyard. So, yep, backyard. We've actually um, added a whole bunch of privacy through installing these, these new um, slates here. And the stairs go down the back there. We've added, we've added, we've installed these new stairs. The stairs that we had before were very rickety, very shaky, very outdated and somewhat dangerous. Yeah. We've widened them 36 inches, I believe. And um, we're going to be doing a bit of work on the back here, a bit of landscaping. We're going to be putting some gardening slabs down there on the left side by the garden box and this is just going to be used as a herb garden. Garden box is a great idea. Whose idea was that? Well, not yours, I guess? It wasn't mine. It was my <laughs> joint ventures. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. good. Yeah. And there's parking outside that fence? Yeah, parking for two. Two? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And did you have to go to Committee of Adjustments? I did not. Um, you know, I just uh, said that it's going to be for one car, car spot, and, but it's actually for two. I'm advertising it as two, but in the drawings, it's just marked down as one. Okay, so no committee of adjustments. That's great. Yeah. Okay, let's go see the bedrooms. Yeah, that's fine. So the stairs and the railings and the shelf was all newly installed. The stairs is uh, they're red oak, and the spindles are brand new as well, and they're and hand rail in the middle post is really open as well. Okay. And beautiful shelving space as well. And you underpin down here. I remember we had a video where um, this is all like, I don't know, how short was it? Like, it was rubbing your head, uh, that was my pretty head, and you were still, you guys couple, maybe an inch or two. That's yeah. okay. So I'll follow that. Yeah. So this is what the bedroom? <laughs> yeah, so as for the underpinning, well, I mentioned in the previous video, we shot the previous video about six months ago, but uh, it was quite an ordeal. First time I've ever taken a project with that magnitude, and um, it was in the heart of the winter, and it was the coldest winter that Canada's had for record years, yes. 50, 60 years. And I uh, learned a lot, and um, yeah, it was six foot two, and now it's, it's over eight feet. I can stand, and I'm still not quite touching the ceiling. So. Yeah, I'm just looking at this. Uh, I don't know if the camera can see this, but this. I, I, I was very surprised to see this now in, in all in, in almost every single one of your bedrooms, was it? Yes, in all the bedrooms. And what is it? Uh, it's a strobe light. It's another safety precaution. It came into effect January 1st. It's just got to do with the fire code now. So not only is there a sound alarm, but there's a strobe light for the uh, deaf, I guess. So, so what, what is it for uh, a, a fire? Fire, fire, fire? Fire alarm, yeah. So in every bedroom? Every bedroom. Yeah, so um, if you want to save some money, don't call all the bedrooms a bedroom, call a couple of the bedrooms an office. Oh yeah? Yeah. Well, they can be offices, right? Yeah. And that would, that would actually prevent you from having to put it in there? Yeah, one of those Office. babies cost about 120 bucks just for the unit and then installation is whatever else on, on top of that. So, um, and just the time delay of trying to source it and put on our no way to get those, so. Okay, let's, let's see the famous bathroom, because this, this, I like this bathroom. Alright, so this is a four piece. I'll just talk this through. So we have beautiful Carrera marble finish on the sides and on the edges. We have a rain shower head. We have beautiful grey tile. And we have this amazing little window nook where you can put your shampoo. Oh, yeah, shampoo, shampoo. shampoo. And, um, We've got brand new um, vanity, bathroom vanity, 
nice stainless steel finishes for the hooks and the trims and obviously a regular sized bathtub on the inside yeah. and then you have uh, for you specifically you actually put in two furnaces in this house right? we did indeed just yeah. so you have two furnaces two hydrometers yes um, we're working on separately, two, completely. We're right? working on two gas meters as well. We're working on that. Okay. Um, but as it stands, two furnaces and two hydrometers. Now. Okay. And the other bedrooms there, but it's kind of packed with tools and stuff. So yeah, it's just. Um, well, I'll, I'll just turn sure. the light on quick. Sure. So this is the second bedroom. So uh, you advertise this place for rent already, correct? I advertise it to rent already, yes, and it has been rented already. How fast did you rent it? I put it on the market on Tuesday and was rented by Sunday. Sunday, okay. So, yes. what did you rent it for? So, upper unit. No, 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 just this unit. No, no, we'll, we'll see the upper unit soon. This, this unit. So, this unit is $2,350. $2,350. Yes, and not including utilities, so plus utilities. All utilities? All our utilities, water, okay. hydro, gas. Okay, and then what else did you sort of put in there as in terms, any special terms in there? Yeah, I worked out my uh, bargaining skills and um, they're paying 50 bucks for the parking outside. There's a parking pad outside. So 2400 now? 2400 and then I'm not a big fan of the cold and I don't really like shoveling snow. So if they wanted this unit, then it's up to them to shovel the snow outside and grit where it needs gritting and um, to do some gardening and weeding and whatnot. And, Wow. And they jumped at the opportunity. So it's two bedrooms and they're both in the basement. Yes. In one bathroom. Yeah. So you saw that you saw the place for twenty four hundred dollars plus utility. Twenty four, yeah, plus utilities. Yeah. In less go. Let's go see the upper unit. Okay, so here we are in the front entrance again, the common hallway. We just saw this unit, the lower unit, and now we're gonna go upstairs and see the upper unit. Yes. Alright. Let's do it. Oh, what's that? A log? Yeah, it's a log. Um, oh, is that for me? Uh, no, you already got one. <laughs> I do? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is... I love this unit. This is my favorite. Yeah, this is everyone's favorite. So when you walk up here, you have beautiful open concept. Gorgeous kitchen, huge kitchen, and open to the family room there with a nice fan. Oh, I love it. Yeah, so this was, um, like I said, this is most of was favorite. It was rented second, actually, but uh, it was rented pretty, fairly quickly after the lower unit was, was rented. Yep. Um, pretty much we just took downstairs, took the blueprint from downstairs and just brought it upstairs. Uh, you got your quartz countertop, you got your IKEA, ca uh, IKEA cabinets, you got your stainless steel appliances, all brand new, all HE. Lovely, beautiful floating cabinets. Nice, white, bright, open kind of space concept. Um, home sweet home. Yeah. Just add a little homely sweet touch there. Got beautiful pendant lights here. Um, most of the stuff is, um, yeah, we just kind of designed it and put it together and what I forgot to mention downstairs was the pot lights. So there's pot lights throughout yes. both units. And, and so hold on, there's a strobe light right there. That's not a bedroom. Mm, it's the hallway. It's a, yeah, because it's in a hallway. Yeah. It has to Damn, strobe lights. Yeah, there's another one there too. Um, so right here is the one bedroom, right? And then upstairs is Another bedroom? Yep, so this is a bedroom. You know, this can be used as an office space as well. But so you call it a bedroom, right? Because it's got a stroke. I don't call it It's okay, you know, it's, it's, it's two bedrooms. Um, this is actually a decent size. Yeah. No closet, but it's okay. Yeah. Office space. Yes. The people who rented this, they only been using it as an office space. So Are they? Yeah. No. We'll find out soon what it rented for after you see upstairs. Alright, and this is the powder room. So this, this unit has two bathrooms? Yeah, two, well, one and a half. Uh, stackable washer dryer. We've got the beautiful honeycomb finished tile, which is from Olympia Tile. Stunning. We love that. And you've got the grey subway tile. 
all the way up, about six feet high, and then, um, yeah, brand new vanity. Exposed brick too. Exposed okay. brick in the front, yeah. Got exposed brick on the other side in the kitchen. Beautiful floating shelves from Ikea. Yeah, I like this. Yeah. You got the double sink here as well. Mm -hmm. And as well, there's new windows throughout and new ductwork, new furnace. Now, when you, when you, when you um, advertise this for rent, did you stage it? We did stage it, yeah. My business partner and I had a lot of fun assembling the furniture, figuring it out, and then you know, just putting it all together and putting little bits and bobs wherever and just seeing what works well and see how it kind of showcases the both units as best as possible. Did staging it help? Absolutely. Staging yeah. really did help. So you'd recommend it? Yeah, I would. Even for rentals, like this is, you know, staging, highly recommended for selling a house, but for renting a house. I would say that if you're in this game for the long term, that you should actually invest in your own staging furniture. Just um, staging your furniture, you don't have to go out and buy a, a couch or a futon bed or anything. There's, it's just made from, it's a cardboard structure that you assemble. And uh, it looks just like the real thing. You have a throw over cover, it's a bed, and you throw the uh, bed cover, it's a couch, whatever it is, love seat. And yeah, it looks, it looks, looks the real thing. It's actually fun putting it together. It's the, it's the final stage of your project, and it's the exciting part. It's the part that you should really relish in and enjoy and look forward to. Okay. And like underpinning a basement or tearing down a wall where it's all hot and sweaty. And, yeah. All right. Uh, lead the way upstairs to the master bedroom. All right, excellent. So again, we got brand new railings, brand new stairs. But these stairs are just there. This stairs. There's a stair one. There's yeah. its grandfather in. Yeah. Want to show the outside? Sure. So outside is this walk up here. Yeah. Nice balcony for the uh, master room suite. Yeah, which I'm um, private to walk out balcony here. Good this, size. This, this is a big bonus to have. Yeah, absolutely. Love it. That's a great little feature. Got your own air conditioning unit, so both both units have their own air, AC units. So just separate again. Yeah. In the bathroom? Bathroom. I love this bathroom. Do you want to go? I love this bathroom more than downstairs, only because it has a beautiful skylight and it's slightly bigger. Again, exactly the same blueprints as the one downstairs. You've got your five foot sofa tub, Carrera model finishes, all high end, rain shower head, and a nice stainless steel or silver finishes as well. Very nice. Yep. So this is where the master bed is, here it goes. Yep. And, and here is actually the furnace, right? Yep, so bolts in the furnace. <laughs> it's a, it's a bit of engineering to come up with, with putting it in that corner. Just because if both units can have their own furnace when you do, with limited space, you need to figure out what the best area is. And um, this kind of L curve coming down was already there, so we just thought that's not really Good usable space anyway, so that's where we put the furnace and we board it up and yeah, has easy access panels, so yeah, that's it. So this unit, it's two bedrooms. Two bedrooms. What did you rent this one for? Two bedrooms, uh, one and a half bathrooms, um, walkout deck for $2,400. $2,400. Plus utilities. Plus parking too? No. no? You gotta pay for parking, which is another $50. And if you want this unit, you've got to show the front of the house and maintain the front yard as well. So. Good, good for you. Good for you for uh, having that in there. Yeah, it's just keep our maintenance and costs. So, you, you bought this house for how much? So, we bought this house for $745. $745? $745,000. $745, mm -hmm. And like I said, we put in a, just about two. So, we're doing it now. And so we so, haven't had it reappraised yet. Okay. But you rented it out. So based on what your position is now, I'm assuming you're cash flowing. You're you're at like forty eight hundred, close to five thousand dollars a month in yeah. gross rents. So yeah, so cash flowing after all expenses, after all mortgage, after home insurance, after property well it's just three costs. It's mortgage, home insurance and property tax, 
cash flowing around two thousand dollars a month. In less than that. Okay, so assuming you were to reappraise and you you took out your renovation money out, you'd be cash flowing what then? Because people would want to do that. And I'm assuming whether you do it or not. If you don't, then you're cash flowing two thousand dollars a month. Right. A month. But if you do it, maybe you're cash flowing. Hmm. Um, maybe. Twelve hundred, a thousand. Yeah, I'm thinking twelve, twelve, eleven hundred. I'd say. That's still amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's so impressive, and uh, we're very happy with it, and yeah, we're looking forward to doing the next one. So you do it again? Absolutely. All right. And any any final tips or lessons that were really learned from you guys during this whole process that you'd offer to the viewers? Yeah. So lots of tips, lots of lessons learned. It's just. Never give up, just have a lot of determination and be willing to work with different personalities and be prepared to make mistakes and trip, but just as long as you're willing to get back up again, dust yourself off and just keep moving forward and learning from your mistakes. Also working within the city's perimeters, if you're going to be legalizing a, a unit or two units, just to make sure that um, you go through all the processes and you stay on the side of the city inspector just because you know they have the final say and they can make or break your project, they can make or break you depending on how, how much grip and determination you have. But um, yeah, just stick on the side of, of the city and abide by everything that is out there and um, you'll finish your project, you'll be relieved, you'll be proud, you'll be, you'll, yeah, you'll be happy with the finished product. Good. I'm very proud of you too. Thank you, you and your partner. Yeah. Well done. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thanks, guys.